What is up YouTube? In this video, we're going to talk about top five data engineering technologies that I'm learning in 2023. As you all know, data engineering is kind of ever changing field nowadays with new technologies coming up and some of them getting really popular in the last few years. I've looked into some of the technologies which is really popping up and someone who has recently launched and gaining a lot of traction. In this video, I will cover in detail these five technologies. So you can count on me in doing this research. So here's a list of top five technologies which I believe are the most important ones for 2023. So the first one on my list is Apache Superset. Built by the Apache Foundation and launched in 2017, Superset is an open source data visualization platform that allows you to build dashboards and interactive report. So it's, it launched in 2017, which is relatively new, but has gained a lot of traction. Uh, one key thing to note is it's an open source platform. So the idea is that companies would want to avoid a vendor lock-in and paying hefty amounts and rather use an open source stable platform for all their needs. Another key aspect is this tool is relatively stable and is being maintained by a good foundation such as Apache. So it has advanced features such as making simple visualizations and then kind of attaching them to dashboards as well. So in 2023, Superset will become really popular. Part of the reason would be that a lot of companies would want to avoid vendor lock-in and using proprietary tools, which are kind of expensive in the long run. They would kind of subside to a simpler open source tool which can be deployed anywhere on their own cloud. So yeah, if you're interested and your workflow kind of involves you to build dashboards or maybe enable other people to use dashboards, therefore Superset is a really grateful tool to use. The second technology on my list is Apache Iceberg. So Iceberg is an open source data format that allows you to store and manage big data at scale reliably and efficiently. So some of the good features include uh, being open source so it is very stable and no vendor lock-in, right? The second feature is support SQL. SQL is kind of the language of choice for anyone working in data. So hence it natively supports that. Third one is schema evolution. So uh, one of the key things about structured data that is that it kind of grows over time and schema changes quite a lot. So it easily supports that part of schema evolution and there's no additional change you kind of need to do when the schema is changing for your tables. Last but not the least is time travel and rollback. It kind of maintains the history of data you're maintaining over time and it kind of logs that. So it's easy for you to kind of roll back at a certain point of time, retrieve data that looked at that point of time. Iceberg, even though launched in 2017, is gaining a lot more traction nowadays and it is kind of a relatively stable product. And then companies, small or even big companies are kind of choosing this technology over others to store their data in an open source format instead of like a proprietary format, which kind of avoid them doing a vendor lock-in. So the third one on my list is Great Expectation. So Great Expectation is an open source library for data validation, documentation, and testing as well. So Great Expectation kind of allows you to define these data validation rules. First of all, building these kind of recipes of rules on each columns or even general columns. And then it helps you kind of validate those uh, rules across your incoming data. If they don't meet the criteria, they kind of raise, raise them as errors and provide you a dashboard or a single place to kind of look into these validation issues. One of the th key things if you're a data engineer and building a lot of pipelines, this is, can be a pre-step, like a first step of your pipeline to validate all your data. So this would kind of allow you to streamline your incoming data and kind of raise flags if there are any issues in the first place of the data. The patent company for Great Expectation recently raised 40 million in a Series B round of funding, which means that this tool is going to even get better eventually down this road. Uh, it's going to have a lot more features coming down this year. So in 2023, this is the tool kind of you need to definitely look at because a lot of the companies are now focusing on having reliable and stable data pipelines, right? So in that case, they would wanna have the right data quality checks in place. So this library kind of takes care of all of that. So yeah, working with great expectation is a valuable add to your toolkit for building data pipelines. All right, moving on to the fourth technology, which is Delta Lake. So Delta Lake is also an open source data storage, storage solution built by Databricks. So one of the key distinguished feature is that it tries to combine capabilities of both data lakes and a data warehouse. So the way it kind of does it by providing cheap storage as part of cloud storages, which is done in parquet format. And it also allows uh, 
the exclusivity or like the reliability of a data warehouse which provides asset compliant queries and also provides time travel capabilities where you can see a version of your data back in time. It also stores all of this information as metadata in part of the cloud. So why I'm kind of learning this technology in 2023 is that uh, with Databricks being mass adoption of Databricks among companies big or small, specifically big companies. So Databricks is kind of an essential platform and Data Lake is now has become kind of the core of the whole essential platform which allows you to kind of store data in a cheap way and just query them using SQL. One of the key things you can treat Delta Lake is that it's an evolution of a data lake, but it also provides additional capabilities of a data warehouse uh, with the Delta Lake. So the last technology in this list is not a conventional data engineering technology, but it's instead ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is a large language model built by OpenAI using deep learning. It's basically a chatbot which allows and gives you responses to all your questions in a human-like manner. So from a first view of it and from my first few usage, I can already see this tool being a proper assistant to anyone's need. Specifically for engineers or data engineers, this tool can be really handy. You can treat this technology as Google. For any engineer to be a good engineer, they all, always need to have good Googling skills in general. It applies very similarly to this tool called ChatGPT, which allows you to get answers to almost all of your questions in a single go. You can always talk to it, uh, walk around it, walk, walk your way through to finding answers. One, one of the interesting things directly which can be useful for engineering is using a boilerplate code. I, I tried to build a simple boilerplate code where, where I wanted to write a Spark job, which reads data from Apache Kafka directly and transforms it, modifies it, and puts it back into a thing such as a big query. So you can see it easily responds and easily generates this kind of boilerplate code. For someone who's new to this field, um, it can really come in handy for junior engineers, but even for senior engineers, it also applies because at times you're kind of looking for a boilerplate code to work with. This can answer all these questions very quickly. Other things you can use it for is research, doing research on technologies and whatnot. Yeah, and there you have it. These are the top five technologies I covered in this video, which I feel will be really important for 2023. But take all of this information with a grain of salt. Try to look into these technologies with your perspective and your angle in mind. You always have different use cases on different projects exactly, right? So yeah, but most of it, this is my opinion. If you find something, some other technology which can be useful and it's, which is really popular these days, feel free to comment and check in with me on how I feel about it. And also let me know in the comments how you feel about all these technologies. Do you find something which can be useful? for 2023 and is an up and coming technology. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.